girl Kimmy. And I think this is the very first video that I've made since getting my wisdom teeth taken out. And um, yeah, it's been almost a month I want to say. I think it's appropriate to make another video. Well. Oh, and if you want to know about my hair because you're like, oh your hair is so cute, thank you girlfriend. I do have a video coming up after this. Um, I did like a little get ready with me or whatever. And I don't have any extensions in my hair. I'm feeling pretty good about myself that my hair is filling out, girlfriend. Rawr. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. But if you want me to talk about my experience with getting my wisdom teeth taken out, just leave it in the comments below. Or you can find me on Instagram because I wrote about my experience. But in this video, speaking of Instagram, there was a young lady on Instagram that requested this type of video. And her name is... I'll just put it right here. And it's about like hair care regimen. So I'm going to talk about my shampoos, my conditioners, my leave-ins, moisturizers, oils, styling products and heat protectants and I'm looking down because I have all of this stuff in front of me. It's giving me like anxiety or nervousness because this video is going to be like long. So let's just jump right into a girlfriend. Okay, let's start off with shampoos. <laughs> I am doing pretty good. I have about three shampoos and you're like, how in the world is that doing good? Well, when you are a hair blogger, vlogger, whatever you want to call us on YouTube, Three is like having no shampoos. I would have like five or six shampoos at one point and it was getting a little ridiculous. So um, I got it down to three and I'm doing pretty good. But the first shampoo is the It's A 10. I have used the It's A 10 leave-in, never tried the shampoo, so I thought I would give it a little try, you know? And I believe I picked this up at either Ulta or CVS. It was one of those two. And this is nutrition for your hair and it's sulfate free. I have maybe about this much left so I'm about to be going to get me another shampoo. Actually I already got another shampoo. It's not this one, it's something from Shea Moisture. So I guess I'm going to be on four shampoos. Some people were asking me to try out Shea Moisture. See this is another thing when you do YouTube videos people request you to use certain products. So that's why you accumulate all this junk. I love this shampoo. It doesn't lather a lot so if you have the type of person that wants a lot of lather, it doesn't lather. At least not on my hair it doesn't doesn't lather that much. It has a little sub, but not like a bubble bath. The next thing, um, I don't know if you guys are new to my channel or if you've been watching me for many, many years, but I have made it known that I try to wash my hair every three days. And I know you're like, every three days, girl, you black. You can't be doing that. Yes, you can do it. I just want to be specific on what I mean by washing my hair every three days. I don't mean washing my hair with shampoo shampoo every three days. But I mean, I try to cleanse my hair every three days. Um, but if my hair is straight, which I know you're like, this is not straight, but it's it's heat tamed. So I flat ironed it and then I went in with my curling wand. So it is heat straightened. Um, I don't wash every three days because that's just too much heat because you would wash it and then put heat on it again. So I usually leave my hair for like seven days. Sometimes I push it to 10 if I'm being lazy. My scalp be itching because it be craving it every three days. When I do the th every three days, I don't use heat on my hair. And so what I have is the WEN cleansing conditioner. And this is like co-wash. Um, I still have quite a bit. It's like right here. And I use this. Like I use this on day one. And then three days later I use this. And then maybe another three days later I use this. And then another three days later, I may use this. So I'm not using shampoo, shampoo every three days, but I am using a product to cleanse my scalp every three days, if that makes sense. And I love this. The fig actually gives a little tingle. You have to use a lot of it though, like a million pumps. So that's why I put most of the pumps on my scalp and then I put some more pumps and put it on the hair shaft, but this is pretty good. Now, if you are the type of person that loves to, um, co-wash your hair all the time, you really don't like sulfates, or you just put a lot of product in your hair with you natural and relaxed, um, you're going to want to use like a clarifying shampoo. And there's a lot of clarifying shampoos on the market that are very drying and stripping. Like, I feel like it stripped too much. Like, you clarifying too much. So, my favorite one, which every time I show this in a video, I'm always running out, but this is the Neutrogena Anti-Residue Formula, and I have like a crumb left, like a drop all the way down here, but it's clear, clear shampoo. And this lab is really good. It is a clarifying shampoo, but it doesn't strip your hair. This is the best clarifying shampoo that I have come across. I use this all the time. This is the best. I don't think I'm ever going to try any other clarifying shampoo. I always try different moisturizing products. When it comes to something that's going to strip your hair, 
stick with what you know. And if you found one that works for you, stick with it. But if you haven't found one, you want to give one a try, give this Neutrogena one a try. It will take all that stuff off your hair, but leave your hair still on your head. Now we are on to the conditioners. Uh, let's see what we have here. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have about six conditioners. Um, or maybe you could say five because I take two of them and mix them into one. Oh, I'm so sorry, but I just had to run up the steps. Oh my God, I'm trying to catch my breath. So the, um, like the regular conditioner that I use with that shampoo is the It's a 10, um, the Miracle, uh, let's see, it's the Miracle Mask, the Miracle Hair Mask. And this is very thick. It's so good. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells like hair so on. This will make your hair soft as well, especially when you use it together with the shampoo. It just does wonders to your hair. And I also have another hair mask that I had before this, and this is the Moisturizing Milk Mask by Cream of Nature Argan Oil. <laughs> now, they're both hair masks, they both moisturize your hair, so I'm sure you're like, well, when do you use which one? Just whichever one is in the shower. When you have a whole bunch of products, it's like whatever you feel like using. Kind of like when you got makeup and you have like so many different foundations, and you're like, well, how do you know which foundation to use on which day? It's like, whatever you feel, you know? You gotta have that feeling. You're like, oh, I feel like using this today. No, I feel like this type of day. You know, it's all about how you feel. So there's no particular day on when I use this. Then I have my Simplicity Hair Oil Moisture Conditioner. I use this as well. So I switch up between these three. These are my three moisturizing conditioners. This is more like a, um, like a, like kind of like a deep conditioner that you leave in your hair, but these are masks, so these are thicker than this. So I pretty much use this one if I'm trying to do something real quick, let it sit in my hair for a little while and then rinse out. But if I have time on the weekends or whatever, and I can let it sit for a long time, then I run to the mask. So I guess I do have a time when I use it, but I don't have a time on which one of these I use. And then the next one is going to be my um, protein conditioner. Now, I'm not the type of person that put like that hardcore protein in their hair where your hair feels like straw, like hay, and then you gotta bring it back to life, like you like, you gotta kill it, and then you gotta resuscitate it with moisture. I don't do that. I don't like that process. I feel like I wanna have um, protein with moisture already built in it instead of having that two step where you gotta like strip your hair and then bring it back to life. So I can't do that, I get scared. So I had the ORS hair mayonnaise, and this is a protein, but it's like a light protein, like a moisturizing protein, if that makes sense. So you never feel that straw feeling in your hair, but you feel moisture, moisturization and you feel strength in this one product. I don't use this all the time, I do alternate between those three conditioners that I showed you. So I do one week of um, a moisturizing conditioner, and then I do another week of this so I alternate so by the end of the month because you know it's four weeks in a month I would have used one of these two times and I would have used this two times and then I have a little bit of a controversial I don't know if it's too much controversial anymore but it was a few years ago on YouTube and um, it is silicones <laughs> um, and so I need to go get some more but I really don't use this that much so I don't even know if I want to buy any more right now but I have silicone mix and I have the Connie Chom. I actually mix these two things together, stir it up, make a little a little mix right there, and then I put it on my hair, let it sit, then I rinse it out, and then I proceed to flat iron my hair, after, of course after my hair is dry, but this is what I use when my hair is straight. Now I know you're going to be like, well your hair is straight now, did you use it this time? No, because I forgot. I don't leave these in the kitchen. In the kitchen. I don't leave these in the bathroom because I got too much junk in the bathroom. So these are in my closet, like on my little little hair junkie shelf. And so I just get in the shower, and when I'm in the shower, I'm like, dang, I forgot this. Well, I guess I ain't using that. And then one of the, those other conditioners in the shower. So this gets used when I remember. I never use this when my hair is. Um, air dry so if I'm gonna do like a twist out or a braid out, bantu knot out, whatever, flexi bras, whatever, you know like a style that you set with no heat, um, meaning you don't even put a blow dryer on your hair, you don't put a flat iron on your hair, you just wash it, air dry it, and then style it, uh, I don't use that product because silicones will basically, you want to moisturize the hair really good and then you want to put that on one um, and then it kind of seals the hair shaft and some people say that moisture can't get in the hair shaft because it's almost like a raincoat, so moisture can't get you. So 
when my hair is curly, well, I don't have curly hair, but when my hair is like in its non-flat iron state, I need all the moisture that I can get. But when my hair is straight um, or heat straightened, I, I pretty much, it pretty much maintains its moisture longer. I don't know why, but it maintains its moisture longer. And this helps with the humidity. It doesn't make your hair fluff up too much. Um, I feel that it seals in all the moisture because I moisture the heck out of my hair before I flat iron it and it seals it in and it leaves it straight and looking good for like seven to ten days and that's how I'm able to last that long you know what I'm saying? but I don't use it all the time because I forget it's just it's just being lazy so I could just hop out the shower and go run and get it but I ain't doing that now on to leave-in sprays so after you're out of the shower, whether you are going to be um, heat styling your hair or whether you're just going to let it air dry, whether you natural or relax, um, I like to spray things in my hair. So the three things that I like to spray in my hair, um, I don't spray them all at the same time. Sometimes I do. No, sometimes I do two. I don't do all three. But here we go. We have the Cream of Nature Argan Oil from Morocco Strength and Shine Leave-In Conditioner, girlfriend. Now when it says strength and shine, anything that says the word strength in it, you know it has some form of protein in it. So this is like a protein spray. I remember one girl in the comment section said, this is protein? How you know? A couple ways how I know. The word strength, that's number one. And number two on the back it says protein. I spray this on my hair. I make it my mission to spray this on my hair after I do a relaxer. Because you know, it's like giving you the strength and the shine. It's bringing you back to life from all of the, the trauma that you just put it through. But I use it even when I'm not um, relaxing my hair um, but I make sure I use it on a relaxer day and I make sure I use it on the days that I flat iron my hair or put some type of heat to it because sometimes I will wash my hair and just blow dry it so it look like a fluffy old mess and then I do whatever I'm gonna do to my hair so I still put heat on of some sort so I use that then after that sometimes I spray my uh, healthy sexy hair on top of it this is the soy tri wheat leave-in conditioner sometimes I don't sometimes I just use that spray alone but this is another spray that I use. Um, I even use this every day or every couple days. Even if my hair, let's say, well, I probably won't do it now because my hair is straight and this has, like, it's very liquidy. It has a, has a good mist, but it could still make your hair feel wet. But if I'm wearing my hair like in a bun or something like that, I will spray this. I can feel a little dry when I wake up. I will bring it back to life. And the last one I have is the Cream of Nature Detangling Leave-In Conditioner. And I have, like, one drop one swallow, one swig left of this. So I gotta go get me another one. And um, this, I don't know if you guys uh, watched one of my videos, but I gave this to Mama Sita. Well, I didn't give it to her, I shared it with her, but she took it. I had to go and get another one, and now we down again. This girl's greedy, her hair is greedy. I kind of use this like I use this, like this is a spray. You could use this every day, every other day, or when you just get out the shower. My other leave-in, is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. So this goes with the other things. And I spray this in my hair every once in a while. I do spray this in Mama Sita's hair and that, and she actually loves it. But I have to wash her hair every day when I use this though because her hair texture is totally different than mine. I have like 4A, 4B, she has like 1B, 1C, something like that. If I spray this in her hair, I could wash her hair every like two days or whatever. She's still young and although she's Puerto Rican and Caucasian and most people of that ethnicity or race wash their hair often. You still don't wash a baby's hair that often because their scalp is still so, you know, so tender and they could get dandruff or like really flaky scalp. So I try not to wash her hair every day, but when I use this, I have to though. So I try not to use it all the time um, because it makes her hair really weigh down because her hair is so, because she only got a little bit of hair. But I think when her hair gets thicker, it won't weigh it down so much. And then the, another leave-in that I use that um, I really don't use that much because I got a lot left. I think it's because I have so many and it's always in there and it's not in the bathroom. But this is another one. This is a perfect seven. I think this is like their version of the It's a Ten, and it is. It's, I think it's a little thicker than It's a Ten though. So um, I don't use this when my hair is straight. I'm trying to think. I think I only use this if my hair is uh, air dried. I think because it makes it feel different than It's a Ten. I think because that's thicker than It's a Ten. Yeah, that's right. I'm sticking to that answer. Now, the next spray that I'm going to show you, you do not use this when you are putting heat on your hair. Ever. I've had a lot of people ask me, this is the S-Curl No Drip Activator. This is for people with jerry curls. I don't have a jerry curl, but it is excellent with moisturizing new growth. 
Right now I have no new growth because I just relaxed my hair maybe about two weeks ago. So I'm about two weeks post, I have no new growth so I have no need for this. Once my hair has a good amount of new growth, maybe like a half an inch or more, or when, because sometimes I have half an inch of new growth and I can still maintain it, it's when your new growth gets disobedient. Then you want to use this when you're like, dang, it just feels so dry up in there. I can't tame it. It's fluffy, puffy. I feel like it's breaking. You know, with the curly part and then with a the straight relaxer part, I feel like it's going to break. Spray this on your new growth. I don't spray this on the hair shaft because it makes my hair shaft feel funny because my hair is relaxed. But on the new growth, my new growth loves this. It just hugs it, cuddles it, just mmm. But I do not flat iron my hair with this. This will burn your hair. So do not flat iron your hair with this. This will burn your hair. Because it's for people with jerry curls. And people with jerry curls don't flat iron their hair. They spray their hair and they go. Now, um, let's move on to like moisturizers kind of like thing like that. So I have one main moisturizer. And I'm just looking to make sure I don't forget anything else over there. Nope, we good. I have one main moisturizer that I use all the time. If I go on vacation, go somewhere, it's the only one I bring. You know, I die. If I lost it, the house was burning down, I had to grab one moisturizer. This would be the moisturizer that I get, girlfriend. And that is the um, main choice. Doesn't get much butter than this. This is like a butter, and this lasts forever. I think I got this like in December or January. And we're in July. Look at that. Look how much I got left. Like, you see the black rim around the inside? So the inside of the container is black. All that white stuff you see is the butter. Oh my god, it's so, so good. This is very light. It looks all buttery and thick, but it's extremely light. Once you get the heat between your fingers and you smooth it, I put it on my edges, I put it in my scalp, and I also put it on my ends and whatever's left on my hand, I go throughout the rest of the hair shaft. It doesn't weigh your hair down unless you put too much. So a little bit goes a long way, and that's proof because I've had this product for six, almost seven months, and look how much. I haven't even gone halfway. So this will last you a very long time, unless you're natural and you need more. Because I notice people who are natural need more moisturizer, meaning like their scoops will be a little bit bigger. And also since my hair is relaxed, I can get to every strand easier. But this is amazing. It helped my hair get thicker. It keeps it softer and moisturized. I love it. A few videos back, meaning a, not a few, it was quite a while. It had to be over seven months ago because I was looking for another moisturizer. I used to use Neutrogena Triple Moisture leave-in cream or something like that it was called and I have a serious feeling that they changed the formula because I brought another bottle and it it did not work it wasn't horrible but I could tell it didn't work so I was telling everyone is there any type of um, moisturizer that works out there and some people were giving me their their input and there were some ones that I tried before and I didn't like and some that I did research on I was like that's not gonna work for my hair so when I was on Instagram that's why you gotta go on Instagram because you'll be hearing all the goodness I saw this on Instagram and I was like, let me try this so I have never turned back. I'm going to keep buying this. I'm going to show you my other conditioner. So I just have one, one other one. Yeah, I said I have more than one uh, conditioner. But um, I have this right here. Not conditioner, I mean moisturizer. But I have this right here. This is a conditioner. You're like, we talking about moisturizer now. Why are you showing me conditioner? Because I've turned this into a moisturizer. And you're like, what? How the heck you turn a conditioner into a moisturizer? There's a girl on YouTube, Pretty Witty, is it Pretty Witty? Yeah, Pretty Witty 77. And she has this concoction where you take the uh, Herbal Essence Hello Hydration, you take some vegetable glycerin, and then you take some water. But I don't leave it in this bottle. You just pour the water inside a spray bottle. And I use it in this. Because you know it's like blue and blue. You know, I'm trying to be all cute. I put about this much Trying to, trying to think. I put about this much conditioner up to here. Then I put a little tiny bit of the um, the glycerin and then the rest water. And then shake, 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 shake it. And then you spray this in your hair. And this is like a leave-in moisturizer. And um, so I use that only when my hair is not flat ironed. Pretty much if I'm being lazy. Like for example, let's say I wash my hair, condition it, let it air dry, and just put it up in a bun. And just rock that bun for like a few days or a week because I'm lazy to wash my hair again but my hair starting to feel dry spray my hair with this and this will bring it back to life and then when I get ready to wash my hair you already have some nice conditioner in here so when you get in that shower go to that sink and you wet your hair it's just butter because all this starts to rinse out of your hair and it's just butter it's a good concoction right there I don't really use it that much in the winter time anymore because that glycerin doesn't like Connecticut weather cold weather 
but it loves Connecticut summer. When it's like humidity, that's good for you, girlfriend. Now, we're on to oils. Oh, we're almost done, we're almost done. Now, there's two oils that I use all the time, no questions asked. I can do this in my sleep. It's always by my bed. Yes, it's on my nightstand. Virgin coconut oil. This is the unrefined virgin coconut oil. I think I got this from Trader Joe's. No, I'm sorry, not Trader Joe's. What do I want to say? Whole paycheck. Oh, I mean Whole Foods. Yeah, that's what I got it from. I got it from Whole Foods. Now, this is the unrefined virgin coconut oil. I use this anytime. I add this into my relaxers. Uh, I add this into some of my deep conditioners. Uh, I just put this on my hand. I don't know. I just put this on my hand in time. I put it on my skin sometimes. Like when my elbows are looking all ashy or when my tattoos are looking all dusty. I Yeah, <laughs> because I'm ashy so they look dusty. And if you just all moisturize and everything, put it on my legs, you know. Girlfriend, it's great. You can use it head to toe. You can use that to remove makeup. It's just the bomb.com. Next thing that I do is I have... Um, Next thing I do, next thing I use is my Simplicity Hair Oil. Oil. And I need to get more because I think I only got like one or two droppers left of this. Like, Phil, yeah, it's like almost gone. But I'm not going to order it yet because I'm going on vacation and I don't want it to come while I'm gone. But, oh my God, this is like gold. I dropped this one day. I think after I had it for like two, three days, I was going like this and I had it open. I'm dropping it like this. So the dropper was in this hand, and the bottle was in this hand, and the bottle fell out of my hand. And it fell on the carpet in my bedroom, flat like this. And it was just drip, 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 just dripping on the floor. I was like, no! I was down there on the floor going like this. No lie. And I was gonna, I was gonna go get my camera and vlog it. I was like, no, that's an embarrassment of life. I was dying. I was like, I'm losing gold! You don't understand. Anybody who's used this will tell you that this is the bomb.com. I don't know anyone who has tried this and said something bad about it. Not one. I don't know anybody that's tried to say anything bad about it. It's amazing. I only use it on my scalp and on my ends now so that this, I can get this bottle to last you over like three months. So if you want, you're like, oh, but I go through it so fast and it's so expensive. You just use it on your scalp and your ends and the bottle will last you a long time. You use it all over your head. That bottle's going to be gone in less than a month. You use it on your scalp and your ends only. You can stretch it out about three months. Four months. Yeah. Now the next things that I use, um are every once in a while. Like, I do use this if I'm styling my hair. Like, for example, I did it with this hairstyle. I put some on there before I started the curling process. This smells like a man. It smells good. Love it. Oh, I didn't tell you what it was. It was cheese silk infusion. This is good. This is not like a moisturizer. So don't go out and buy this because this is expensive. Don't go out and buy this and be like, oh, I'm going to use this as a moisturizer to seal my ends. This is not a sealant. This is more like a a nourishing hair glosser if that's what you want to call it I wouldn't use this as like a nighttime hair routine I don't use this as styling so maybe that should have been in the styling products but um the next thing I have is Jamaican black castor oil I got this off of Amazon the only thing is this has a smell to it um it has like a woodsy you know earthy smell to it uh, let me think in the winter time I use I used to use this all the time on, on like the front of my head, like my edges or the nape or the or in the scalp or whatever, or if in my hair was dry. I didn't use it every day because it starts to give that woodsy, earthy smell. And people that be around you that don't know about that, they smell it and it smells a little weird. I try not to use this too much in the summertime because the heat makes it smell even more. So what I will do if I want to use it, I will use this in my scalp as like a hot oil treatment type of thing. Like I use this in my scalp and then I put this coconut oil on the hair shaft and then I um, massage my hair, let it sit for a while, maybe like a few hours, and then proceed to wash my hair and do all that other stuff. I'm not really a fan of leaving this in my hair all the time. I do it sometimes, but I'm not really a fan of it because of the smell, but it works good. But it's just the smell puts me off sometimes and I'd be like, I'll walk by or like the wind blow and I'm like, God, I smell that stuff. And I'm like, imagine what it smells like. Like, imagine what other people smell like. Ooh, that girl hair smells weird. Oh, but if my hair is pulled back in a bun, I really don't smell it that much. If my hair is out or down, and you know, the wind be blowing and everything, that's when I can smell it more. Now, on to um, styling products. Oh, we almost done, girl. Friend. This thing I'm about to show you now, the bottle is kind of rubbed off, so you're not going to really see very much of it. But it is the Eco Style of Joe. And it is the brown one. Ha ha ha. The brown.
smell like? Mmm, it smells good. I never really noticed the smell because I never put the container that close up to my face. But um, this is the only Eco Styler gel that actually works long term for me. Like a long lasting hold. I've tried the green one, what is it, the olive oil one? And that worked in the beginning when my hair was shorter. It just don't work anymore. Like it doesn't hold my edges down when I'm like far in my relaxer stretch, so I stopped using that. Then they have like an argan oil one that's kind of like a, it's like a gold color and I think the top is red. And that works too, but it still doesn't hold. It gives me a little longer throughout the day. But this will keep my, my edges down all day. Like now I don't have to worry about that because my hair is freshly relaxed. But when I'm further in my relaxer stretch, this will hold it all day. I'm like, wow. Well, that's, so that's why I had to, I got the small one before. That's why I had to go back and get the bigger bottle. But it's just, you know, gel is sticky. And when you touch it, it's like it's wearing off on the word. So... Next thing I have is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Style and Shine Foaming Mousse. And they made it gold now. They used to be clear. I use this if I'm doing a braid out, twist out, bantu knot out, whatever. You know, like you want to set a style, but you don't want to be crunchy when you take it down. I do this. So that's what I do. I use this to set, like, um, what do you call those? I'm losing my mind. Protective styles, duh. So if I am gonna be doing like a protective style, a braid out, twist out, bantu nut out, you know, put that in there, let it set. I mean, roll it on up, braid it on up, twist it on up, let it set. Round is good. The last thing I have in this little section is the Arganol Gloss and Shine Mist. And this is from Cream of Nature. I love Cream of Nature. It's the bomb.com. I love it so much. It's like, no, I'm just like, no, but, no, I do love it. And it's funny because I would always use Cream of Nature and then Cream of Nature reached out to me because they're like, you always talk about our products. I'm like, of course. I love it. I don't use it too much because I forget. But let me spray a little bit today, girlfriend. You know, it's like a, like a finishing mist and it smells good too. And then another product that I have to talk about. Mmm, it smells so good. And you guys are going to be like, another Cream of Nature. It is the Cream of Nature Perfect Edges. Now, you guys know I've talked about this from like almost the beginning of my YouTube channel. And this will lay your edges down as well, girlfriend. So I take this with me everywhere I go. I love it. Mm. So if you're trying to get your edges to lay down, do your edges at nighttime. And then um, finish moisturizing your hair, doing whatever you're gonna do, and then tie your hair up so the next day, it's all good, you know? Now hairspray is something that I don't use all the time. I don't even use it every time I curl my hair. But if I want to, if I'm like, oh, this, this style came out key, let me lock it in place. So um, I have two of them. I have my Tresemme, um, the three spray, hairspray. This is very good. So I try to get the most healthiest ones, not the ones that smell like straight alcohol when it sprays or that it makes your hair really sticky or wet. So I have this one. And then I also have the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Touchable Hairspray. So I just have these two. Now we are at the home stretch. Now I have heat protectants because I talked a lot about heat. Uh, I said when I don't use heat, when I do use heat, you know, and like you need to put heat protectant in your hair. And I have three because I'm greedy. They're all Tresemme though, but Tresemme had three different kinds. They have the Thermal Creation. This was the original, which you can't get no much better than this. This is the bomb.com. I actually used this to do this hairstyle. Then they have the Platinum Strength and then they have the Keratin Smooth. Now I'm kind of confused on these two. Because platinum strength, strength means like protein, and then keratin, it's like protein. So it's like protein, protein, like what are you talking about? Like the same doggone thing. So I think this one kind of don't get used or whatever. I, this is the order that I like them in. This is the one I like the best. That's why it's only a little bit left. Then comes second is this one. I always use this right after I get a relaxer and I'm going to flat iron my hair. So I like this. And then I use that when I can't find this, when Mama Sita takes this and hides this somewhere, then I use this. And then very last but not least, I use this one. That's why this feels like it has like way up here. I really don't, I don't know. It's not bad, but it don't make me go, wow. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, I guess when you got three hairspray, one of them going to be the eyeball, you know? And that just happens to be that one. So I notice a lot and I'm like, dang girl. I got a problem. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, I felt like I explained everything as good as I could. But if you have any other questions, just let me know in the comments below. And I'll get right back to you guys. I love you guys, and I will see you guys next time. Um, and so if you want to see me do my hair, 
Um, I did it earlier this morning, so I have on a different shirt in that video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, to live.